This is Twit. But before we start the next story, leading yeah. into the next story, Jason, I, I was on a call earlier today with someone at actually at in the larger Google Enterprise, and they had the Pixel Buds two in their ears, and they was the first Pixel Buds I saw in the real world via mm. a Google Google Meet call. So yeah, <laughs> that is the real and, and, world. Oh, yeah. And uh, and and no surprise there that Jason, you were holding them up. Uh, this person gave a very, very strong review of them and said that they were great, although they're probably biased because they're a Google employee, but still. Yeah. Probably a little <laughs> bit biased. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't know why I didn't put this in the hardware section because we needed another news story. And I felt like Pixel Buds was, has been kind of like a big news. They item are. The last, yeah. It's the news. Week. Um, I got these on Friday, and so I was, I've was i been using them all weekend. I've got a review that I'm going to be recording for Hands On Tech. That, that'll be out next Monday. Um, so I have some more time left to kind of use them. I use, I use in earbuds all the time, so I get plenty of usage out of them. And yeah, I mean, the pixel buds are actually pretty great. I have to say like the reviews that I read said that this is really satisfying. It totally is. It's just like, it's got a nice click snap to it. That's just really satisfying. And these things pop in and out with a little magnet. So, um, I don't know. It's really, really useful and uh, just really satisfying. But um, in my time using them so far, like I'm pretty impressed. I think the sound quality is is really good. I have yet to do a direct comparison to the to the Jabra Elite 75 Ts, which are my preferred in ear buds right now. Um, these are maybe a little less comfortable than those, just because that little that little prong thing. Here, let me pull these out of here. The little prong thing right here that really fastens it into your ear. If you got these in for a couple hours, you start to kind of feel that a little bit. It's like a little soreness um, here. I don't know if you're seeing that, that little stick out thing, uh, a little soreness that kind of creeps in. Um, one thing I really like about them, though, is the hands free assistant. Like literally, I don't have to do anything but just say, hey, G, you know, I was out for a run and I was like, hey, G, skip back 30 seconds or, or rewind 30 seconds on the podcast that I was listening to because I missed something. And it just automatically did it. And that was really cool. I appreciated not having to tap tap my ear in order to make that happen. Um, the case wirelessly charges. And if you've been following my my Twitter feed, you'll know that I had issues with that initially for two days. I could not mm -hmm. get the case to wirelessly charge. And then this morning I was in touch with Google support and they're like, why don't you record a video of it not working? I'm like, OK, yeah, I will. And I went upstairs and I did it. And of course it worked. It was totally one of those <laughs> like it's happened to me a million times where my, my wife is having an issue with some piece of technology. She's like, I've been here for 10 minutes. Come here and, and tell me what I'm doing wrong. And literally my presence is the reason that it just suddenly works. <laughs> um, so that happened to me. Uh, so that's always a lot of fun. Jeff Jarvis has experienced issues with sound cutting out between the two earphones. One would just go out or they'd fall out of phase, which is actually a pretty common um, kind of issue that happens with true wireless earbuds. Sometimes they fall out of phase. They aren't perfectly synced. Um, so I don't know if that's a Google Buds issue or just a Bluetooth issue in general, but I haven't experienced that. But so far, I'm really, um, I'm, I'm very positive on them. Um, I think the, the design of both the Buds as well as the case is just really top notch. Like it's a nice feeling piece of technology. You know what I mean? It's got uh, pixel devices and then this they have this like smooth quality that it's hard to describe but it feels like a pixel device if and i know that sounds weird but it totally does if you feel the back of a pixel phone it has a certain kind of like uh feeling that isn't just like texture. straight glass yeah a texture. little bit of like a soft texture to it and this case does too and so do the earbuds themselves so um yeah so far i'm really really liking them uh any of you guys uh, pull the trigger or you decided you're gonna pass on these I know, Ron, you're not getting him. No shade. I, no shade to what Google's attempting, but I'm fine with my Samsung buds. Yeah. Okay. I suspect yeah. I will uh, end up buying them. Actually, I, I ordered one pair that's going to be for my wife, so she'll be our resident mm. guinea pig because she's been interested in them for a while, too. I tend to not be as much of an earbud wearer in general. I, like, even if I'm working out, I've got, like, the sweat proof over the ear ones. So I don't know. I, I'm really intrigued by them. I'm especially intrigued by the assist, assistant integration that you were just talking about, Jason. I think I'll probably steal hers here and there and try them out and see if they're comfortable enough. Just in general, earbuds tend to just kind of irritate me after a while. I've never been comfortable. Yeah. wearing them for long periods but maybe this will be the exception i'm definitely intrigued i'm definitely tempted but since we're getting hers first i think i'll use those as my gauge and kind of see how it goes 
Totally. Yeah. And I will say, because this has come up on the show in the past, especially with you, Ron, you don't like the kind that fit into your ear canal. And while these do do that, um, I will say directly compared to the 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 Jabra Elite 75 T's and the 65 T's before them, those have like an earplug quality, like you're putting in earplugs yep. sort of thing and you feel that like suction. These don't. And then part of the reason for that is because they have on the bottom, they have this little spatial vent that they talk about that kind of releases a little bit of that suction feeling and actually lets through some environmental um, noise so that you aren't completely sealed off from your environment. And I would say they work really well in that department. I don't feel like I'm putting in earplugs when I put these in my ears, Interesting. Um, but, but they might still feel enough. Like you're putting something in your ear canal that you wouldn't like them run. But um, I will, I will be, I will be honest that after at, when I was on that call and after hearing the person give like a, you know, kind of firsthand, you know, kind of description of using them, I was like, Oh, maybe I should c reconsider. <laughs> but, uh, but it's an, it's an awfully expensive uh, flyer yeah. to take on something that you might never want to use ever again. And it's also not the kind of thing where like, even if I knew someone around me locally who had them to be like, Oh, let me try that earbud because you, yes. you know, you don't share those <laughs> things. Right. So it's like, so true. Yeah, so true. Yeah, even in normal yeah, times, yeah. you wouldn't want to do that for most people. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. I, that's an interesting exactly. point, Jason, about the, the spatial vent thing that you were just talking about. Cause I think when I was reading, I read a lot of reviews of these and I think part of the problem with reviewing earbuds is that they're just so inherently personal. There's so much preference mm -hmm. involved, not only in the fit and the feel, yeah. but like for some people like you were describing, and I think I think I would be the same way, having that spatial awareness and a little bit of that, the external sound, I would like that as a positive because I would probably wear them outside or sometimes around the house when I would need to hear if something's happening. And I think that'd be a positive. I saw a lot of people listing that as a reason not to buy them because they wanted to have the noise cancellation to be completely zoned out. You know, if you're wearing them on an airplane or whatever, there's just so much variation in what people are looking for, what people like, that these are just a hard product to review in, in like a universal way. It's not about yeah. benchmarks or specs or how fast it is or how easy it is to hold or whatever. It's just a very personal kind of product. So I thought that was interesting that you were citing that too as a positive. And, and clearly Google tried to position it as a positive, but I think a lot of reviewers kind of latched onto it as a, as a negative. Totally. You know, I, I do appreciate, like, I actually like that how the 75 T's seal out everything be and, and that coupled with the fact that the, the speakers inside just sound so good, particularly on the low end. So when I get an actual sound improvement as a result of it, I'm more likely to be okay with the fact that they're very isolating and maybe they ha that gives them a different use case. Maybe I use those on an airplane, whereas I might not use any that let in environmental sound on an airplane if we ever fly again. But um, with the Pixel Buds having that spatial vent and still having a really great sound, like I'm okay with the trade-off. Like it doesn't let in all noise outside of the earbuds either. It lets in a little bit, a little bit more than I'm used to and I'm okay with that safer that way. I think when I'm out running or riding a bike or whatever, you know, I don't want to be totally sealed off. So, um, and so the assistant can hear everything you're doing. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. It fired off at one point and I, I thought for sure, like it heard this girl that was up playing out in her yard across the street. Um, because suddenly it like, okay, uh, let me pull up a playlist in YouTube music of some soothing music. I'm like, what the hell just happened? I went in and looked at my voice recordings later and realized it wasn't a voice recording. So it didn't like pick up anything in the environment. It was probably like a butt dial. So my phone was in my pocket and it probably, I don't know what happened, but my phone was having a good time and decided it wanted to play some soothing music and it pulled it up <laughs> on YouTube music. I thought that was interesting. It chose YouTube music. So... There you go. Your butt uh, has very distinct preferences. It knows what it wants. Yeah. What can you say? Yeah, it want, yeah. Yes, it was tired of running. It wanted to relax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just, it just, it just, it didn't pick the good music app though. That's the, that's the one thing. It's, it, it might have preferences, but not a, not a good quality app choice. So. But not good preferences. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of an ass. What can you say? <laughs> ah. <laughs>